Hi folks, this is Ivers at Trigdis and it has been a while since I wanted to talk about our products in person so I decided to start here at Trigdis channel, the first official Trigdis vlog. And today we are looking at the Gator, remote gate controller, so let's jump in. A lot of people has automatic gates or garage doors, but how everybody is opening them? Uh, do you open by yourself? Nah, I don't think so. Usually everybody is using remote, pattern or making a call to open them. Gate automation and access control are the main functions Gator does. The controller has a ton of exciting features and different approaches to that. With Gator you can control in a classic way with a call or SMS messages or in style with our Prodigus 2 app. Gator comes in two versions. One is with 2G, other with is 4G modem. But remember that 2G is on the path to sunset around the world. For some countries it will be sooner after a couple years and for other countries a little bit later. But it will be shut down. Keep that in mind. If you need more channels uh, or backup, you can make a second channel with W485 module and connect through Wi-Fi or with E485 through the LAN. On Gator you have 5 terminals. 2 terminals is for inputs, for example for the card or tag readers, another 2 can be set as an input or output and the last but not least, one output with integrated relay to turn on or turn off any equipment you can imagine. Usually our Gator users are using old school method to control by the call, uh, but with Protegus 2 you have more functionality because you can control and administrate the system, program the controller, make the tweaks or add users. The system or module can have a thousand users, they are separated into several types, owner slash master, admin, simple user and unauthorized which are only one user in all lists for unauthorized access. To understand how the users are interacting with the system and to each other, I will try to explain by going one by one. So, uh, the owner is the user type at Protegus 2, which are the main player on the system, who can administrate and configure. He can make scenarios, schedules, automations and programming. How users become the owner? Uh, the owner is the user who adds the system to Protegus 2, instantly becomes the one. But sometimes we are getting questions that I am the owner but can control or I can program via SMS. Yes, there are some cases when the owner can be owner of the system in Protegus 2 but not on the list. How could this happen? Uh, in some cases, user list can be modified through Trigdis config and the admin user can be deleted. That's because users are stored in the module to work autonomously. And uh, as a consequence, the owner can control the system. But don't worry, we got you back. Go to the users in the Protego 2 app and you will see notification that your user isn't in the list. Push the button, add me to the list and that's it, you're good to go. Other reason that during installation the owner adds himself to the Gator via Protegus 2 but did not fill the field with a phone number and the other user accidentally calls by the phone. Then the module writes the phone number in the empty admin phone field as admin phone number. It could be done to be able to plug and play the module right out of the box without apps and configs. So be careful. Remember. The first time configuring Gator, don't forget to make the first call or write your phone during installation to properly finish installation as should be. Ok, now let's talk about the simple administrator. In the system can be 7 admins. The admin role is to administrate other users to add or delete. It usually becomes handy for gates with huge traffic like office parking or a gated community. So the main role of the admin is for adding or removing users. About the simple users, not much to say, they only have access to control the gates. And the last is an unauthorized user. This user type is only one in the whole system. 
because it is for any unauthorized access for example you can give your guest the gator phone number and when he arrives he can make a call and the gates will open this scenario only works when you enable this user and that's it about all the users the gator have next thing i want to show you one cool feature Protego Su can add a camera stream to the system and the gator is not exception you can do that also but the gator has very handy feature on the camera stream screen you can add a control button for example you are far away from your gates and you are expecting someone like a delivery guy he calls you and says are you at home you say no i'm not but i'll open the garage gate for you and you can put my package in the garage and you will be able to see how the delivery guy places the package and then he leaves through a stream window and when he are done you push the button to close the gates in the same window the delivery guy is happy about the delivery and you are happy that your package is safe at home i can talk all day about this little guy and all the possibilities but you need to try for yourself interested contact our representatives and we gladly introduce you this fella on how to make your automated system these are only a few aspects of how you can use the gator and protego so there are a lot of more for more info you can check at our webpage trickdis.com in the page you will find the manuals marketing material and other important stuff or you can browse for more on this youtube channel don't forget to click thumbs up subscribe and if you have a question leave us a comment down below see you soon